with only 11 years left before we get to the year 2030, Kenya is racing against time to ensure that projects outlined under the Vision 2030 blueprint are completed on time and within budget. I sat down with the chair of the Vision 2030 Delivery Board, Dr. James Mwangi, and I asked him, are we still within that timeline and are we likely to achieve this target by the year 2030? And this is what he told me. We started the design of Vision 2030 when the size of Kenya's GDP uh, was only one uh, trillion shillings. Today, uh, the economy is slightly over uh, 10 trillion shillings. So we have grown 10 times. When you look at GDP per capita, it was $420. We are now at $1,700, suggesting that uh, we have gone over four times. As the economy goes, uh, the 10 times, it was also building benefits and opportunities for the population. 17 years since their conception of the Vision 2030, it has been a case of many hits and some misses. According to the drafters of the blueprint, the highest level of success lies in the social and economic pillars. Monkey says the country will require trillions of shillings to upgrade the road network, upscale electricity generation and connectivity, expand ICT and improve ports and airports. The Kenyans will only feel if we translate the growth rate that is happening through infrastructure and at stable microeconomic uh, to lead economy. And the real economy, we have put a lot of effort by asking ourselves, how do we get to Wajiko and get Wajiko to be involved? And if you look, uh, Vision 2030 has now focused on uh, medium-term plan uh, three into the lead economy. This is what the president has articulated as the big four. However, financing this project is becoming a major nightmare, with the critics saying the country is pending well above its capability. The investment we have made, whether it is in generation of power, laid with, loads, have had to cost a significant level of investment. And a significant part of that, given uh, uh, the low tax rate that the economy uh, had, had to be borrowed. It is investment. And this is true of Kenyans. When an ordinary Kenyan wants to buy a car, they go to their circle and borrow. And they acquire an asset called a car. The same for an economy. When a car, an economy wants to build uh, a railway, a port, uh, an airport, a uh, duo, carriage road, bypasses, it goes and borrow. But despite many successes of the Vision 2030, there are notable misses too. Among projects behind schedule is the Konza Technopolis and the expansion of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. But the Vision 2030 chair says Kenya will need to relook at some projects to fast track the ones with a high impact on the economy.